How about them lawn roaches? They are moving up, man. They are moving up. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. I hope all of you are having a great and marvelous day. Uh, it is Thursday morning here, 7 o'clock. Something ain't right. 6.55. You know, my battery died on my truck the other day, and apparently it must have died around noontime. And I didn't realize that when I jumped it off, I guess, or something. I was like, man, that's late. I should be uh, on the road already. And I am at 6.56. So, um, I am headed. Got to go fuel up. And I'm going to head out and do the first credit union by myself. Uh, 002 is at the house. Uh, making sure everything's good to go on the, uh, on the regular setup. With the 260s on it, El Romo is on the way. They're not supposed to start till seven. Seven by my phone, not seven by my truck. And uh, he's probably actually already there. They're usually always there early. And uh, they're gonna head out, knock out a couple of properties. We'll meet up at breakfast, and then we'll uh, we eat with the church every Thursday morning down at Hog and Bones. So we'll uh, we'll meet up there eat and then we'll uh you know we're going out from there so we've got 15 properties on the schedule for today i see the sun rising over the trees that is a good sign for us here in south georgia we uh we've we've had a struggle getting our properties done so we got 15 today and i think that'll only leave uh, about five tomorrow maybe Look at that rig in front of me. We just leaving uh, Hog and Bones. You can see on the sign over there. <clears throat> they headed out to do. Uh, they headed out to do some yards, and well, I am too. I'm going to do the banks. So I got to run over to a different county over here across the river, knock out one of the credit unions. Uh, one that's been underwater. So I'm hoping. Uh, I got the wrapper with me. I'm hoping I can get all of it cut this time. It's, it's been a lot drier this week, so we're going to see. Look at that F-150 with them hustlers, man. Isn't that a pretty sight? Y'all know it is. All right, let me get off this thing before I get run over. Check back with y'all in a little bit. Man, I just cut through some deep water. Had to deck it five inches. The blade still hit water. Uh, it's here at the bank, so I'm going to be careful recording, but... I'm gonna try to give you a little shot of it. Uh, it's that field out there. Behind that fence is a retention pond and it's all backed out into the lawn. Um, <clears throat> maybe as we ride by, if these cars don't block, you'll be able to see on the right-hand side of this fence. See how nasty that looks? I brought the Raptor. It didn't really sink or rut bad. Uh, but you know it just looks terrible when you get that muddy water up on top of the grass so, uh, I sent the lady at the bank a picture of it just to uh, kind of an FYI we haven't cut that in about three weeks uh, you know we could go out there and string trim all of it but you got to wait in six seven inches of water at least last week we get a couple of dry weeks that'll that'll dry out but uh, anyway got a got another commercial very small commercial to go do
made up on that big property I just y'all just saw me cut now I'm having to wait on the train hey got some big news for you I can't tell you yet though but I'm gonna tell you in a minute we're gonna go take care of this other yard then I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna give you a hint I don't know if you can see that anyway that's the hint you obviously know it's an address but I'm gonna tell you about it in a minute there's this yard nice little yard centipede grass cut at uh, <clears throat> three and a quarter so anyway I got this one done and so you don't have to wait to hear about uh, my other deal so uh, while I was up cutting the uh, seafood restaurant the lady uh, in there asked me if I had time to go cut hers today and because I'm out by myself and El Romo and 002 are taking care of the majority of the schedule um, I did the commercials and like for me the one I just did is probably it's more of a high-end uh, it's not like a super super uh, you know nice lawn but it's uh, it's one of the better ones it's irrigated well maintained weekly cut you know got some uh, edging around rock beds and you know that kind of stuff a little bit more difficulty to it um, <clears throat> you know I'm out doing those so uh, anyway the uh, <clears throat> trying to figure out where in the world I'm at down here uh, lady at the seafood place says hey can't find a guy that used to cut my yard and I'm wondering if it's not the same guy that was doing this other lady's yard that I picked up last week same story can't get a hold of him hadn't seen him you know and I, I don't know you know maybe if uh, <clears throat> maybe if the guy's got COVID or you know something's happened but you know you would think somebody would probably be monitoring the phone so anyway uh she won't know if I could go cut hers. All right, so the deal is, I can't sing. If I could, I'd start singing, I'm a member of the country club. Start singing, I'm a member of the country club. Start singing, I'm a member of the country club. <laughs> it's in the country club, so uh, I don't do any properties out there. Um, you know, so. And, and I'm going to be honest, I don't really know that I want to do any properties out there. Like, I'm not. I like cutting grass, you know. Uh, I know some of you, you know, you you love, you love, there, there's a funeral home. <clears throat> uh, been there a bunch of times. Um, you know, you like going out, nice tall grass, sh striping it, detail oriented, man. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I like dropping the blades and just, you know, shooting out grass, so. Um, so. I'm looking for somebody who wants to beat down. Yeah, but uh, no, nah. I don't mind doing them. But you know, you the thing about these kind of properties when you go to country clubs and stuff like that, you can't if you're not you know if you can't cut that week, you know, with me, something can happen, and I might not be able to cut any properties. I might have to let you know the guys cut all of them. Funeral, had to go out of town, something like that. You know, and and. Uh, this is this is not a hit on them but when you're not used to maintaining properties like that and that extra 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 attention to detail um i guess they want to run out in front of me you you can't i mean you you, you can't just send anybody to work on those kind of properties man some of those people will uh you know paying good money nice lines uh and you know some of them act a fool you know i'm just saying if you if it if it ain't you know just right so and they'll even do that with me but i i'd rather it you know be on me than you know having somebody else do it so anyway uh i'm gonna let y'all see it when we get there it's a, it's a pretty new house i don't even think they've been in it a year so i don't know how well established the lawn is uh i've never seen it before all i got right here is the address and we head to the country club pine forest country club but uh anyway <clears throat> We on the right road. Pretty house. Lines cut pretty low. Man, they got some nice houses up in here. Got some nice houses up in here. <clears throat> yep. 
Got solar panels on top of some of them. I'm, surpri I'm surprised that ain't against the HOA. Yep. All the little golf cart signs everywhere. Golf cart's got to ride away around here, man. Anyway, let me get around here to it, and then I'll give y'all a shot of it. I like that, man. Simple farmhouse look. Palm trees. Man, that thing's leaning bad. They got a stick up under it. But uh, anyway, looks like some old, like the straw's kind of old. But uh, anyway, we're going to run around it. It looks like a bunch of centipede. We can cut that low. Cut it low, get it done. Here we go. All right, here we go. Centipede lawn. Uh, we cut it at two and a half. Uh, there, there's no growth on it hardly. But uh, anyway, a nice house. Like I said, this is a new construction. Uh, it's irrigated, so that means that, uh, you know, over time, uh, it's going to be a nice lawn as long as it's kept up well. So anyway, we're going to snap us a picture so we can put on our Facebook page, Instagram, all that kind of good stuff, man. Warm out here today. Uh, running the Raptor. Let's see. I just did the video on it. Uh, this first time I run it since I did that video with the 301 point something hours. Now it's got 304.0. So I got a little over uh, two hours and something on it today so far. I think I got one more property to do, uh, one more bank to take care of. And that will uh, that'll take care of my schedule for today. <clears throat> Y'all probably can't hear with that thing running. But uh, yep, that'll take care of my schedule. And Elro mowing them. They may be done before me. I don't know. This, uh, I had five and they had ten. And I added this one. So, <clears throat> so I got, uh, I got six and they got ten. Now, I did have that one small one there at the business that you saw, which didn't take any time. Uh, we both had a good bit of driving time. They had to go to a county next door. Uh, they had to go to Pierce County. I had to go to Long County. So we live in Wayne County. So, uh, you know, some folks out here playing golf. But uh, anyway, oh, here's a lawn crew up here, man. I'm going to stop and ask them. Hey, bro, y'all give me a price on cutting my yard? <laughs> Carter Land Services. That's a big outfit around here. Uh, they, don't, they got that little Zuzu there. They don't run too many of those. I see a lot of times a truck and a trailer, but uh, anyway, they, they probably gonna look at my trailer and they're like, man, they blowing grass all out in the, in the road. But anyway, and they're making a mess. That, uh, he's got a bagger on it though. That irrigation system's been on, it's wet. Um, anyway. It's funny, man, when I when I ride around in the Nissan with this trailer, I don't have the racks on it because I don't know if the guy's going to sell it to me or not. He just told me, don't buy it when you can borrow it. Well, I hate to put racks and all that on it. And, uh, of course, if I buy one, I really want one that's six foot wide. And we're fixing to be back down to one vehicle uh, once 002 starts a few of his college classes and all. But anyway, what I was going to say, people see me pulling this around. And around here, a guy called us on Facebook, called us Lawn Roaches. Lawn Roaches. He said, yeah, you know, when tax time comes around, everybody gets a lawn more and you see all these lawn roaches everywhere. So, yeah, that was awful kind of him. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've, they probably think I'm a, what they would classify, I wouldn't say this, they would classify as a lawn roach. Uh, but... You know, uh, I got a nice setup. I ain't saying that to brag, but I do. I've invested a lot of money in it. And, uh, you know, the Lord's blessed me. Uh, so when I'm pulling this around, they just think, oh, this is somebody that, you know, got some tax money and went and bought a mower and he's going to cut grass for three months and then quit. So, you know, it's just funny. You, you can tell sometimes the way people look at you, uh, especially when you pull up to the country club with this. 
Uh, they was probably, eh. yeah, maybe nobody judged me. I'm just saying. But uh, anyway, let me get off of this thing and uh, get up here and get this bank knocked out. Well, apparently I've been recording in time lapse, but uh, I'm checking to see what the guys are doing. And don't look like they need me. I don't even know if I can get out over there. Um, they blowing off. This is their last two. I got to back up here and see if I can. I can't get around them cones, man. Oh, he put them in his yard because people was driving around. I guarantee you, man. All right, let me get off this thing. I gotta, I gotta get backed up before I run over something. All right, four, four thirty-one. Um, yep, four thirty-one. I just backed in. There comes the F one fifty with them other two hustlers on it. Two hustlers on it and two hustlers in it. We got sixteen done today. Three different counties, so. I know for some people you cut 16 on the street, but, uh, yep. Yep, yeah, buddy. We're going to see if Elro Mo can be Elro back. All right, Elro, when you're watching the video, you can, you can decide for yourself and turn that music down, man. We got a copyright. Uh, look at Elro putting it in there. Look at that boy. And some pretty machines. Pretty machines. Yes, sir. Let's see. He's gonna try to back up on camera. Look at a 002. 002 looking at his mirror, too. <laughs> man. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, make a good video. He's gonna run me over, man. Hey. He's got it under there. Good news is, he ain't gotta worry about backing into a mortar because ain't no mortar in there. Oh, let me get out here and see what these fellas doing. See what these fellas are doing. There's my equipment defender racks for today. <clears throat> Look at there. Two hustlers hauling two hustlers. Look at there. Finished at the same time, huh? Pardon? We finished at the same time. I was going to come help him blow off. It, it, he got them headphones so loud I was blowing the horn he couldn't even hear it and he was right by me. I didn't know you was there either. I never saw you. Yep. Well you was on the you were cutting on the back of the other yard. He was standing he was standing from the front of my truck to the front of this truck from me. <laughs> ah. All right, let me get off this thing.